Hello and welcome to this next presentation here at ABG Investor Days. My name is Simon Granat and I work as an equity analyst at ABG covering IT and tech companies. And uh, today we're super excited to have Fort Knox with us uh, and its COO, Johan Lundgren. And he will present the company for about 20 minutes or so and then we will follow up with a shorter Q&A session. So, so with that said, Johan, please go ahead and present. Great, thank you, Simon. Great to be here at the ABG Investor Day. Uh, you can go to the next slide, please. So, my name is Johan Lundgren, a business unit manager and the CEO at Fort Knox. Unfortunately, our CEO, Tommy, couldn't join today, so I will be the one that runs through the presentation. It will be pretty straightforward. Uh, I will go through uh, Fort Knox in a brief, uh, some number, go through our customer offer and some of our products, and touch the M&A strategy we have. That's pretty much it I think we can do in 20 minutes. So let's jump into the next slide. Just briefly about Fort Knox, you could believe that we are a five-year-old uh, five um, tech company, but we're actually celebrating 20 years this year. And the business has really been taking off the last, I would say, 10 years. We are located with head office in here in Beckwer, where I'm located. And then we have offices in uh, Malmö, Linköping, and Stockholm, and we are about 600 employees. Next, please. And if you would look at C Fort Knox, like let's put it in in the words in in the nutshell, we are coming from being the company that gave back a lot of time. And what I mean with that is that through a small amount per month a company became much more efficient because we move, re removed through other products a lot of administration. So that's been the success path for Fort Knox. What we want to do going forward is to be closer to the core business of any company and support them also to grow their business, meaning that we will have more products closer to core and more, for example, insights that will help them to be uh, more successful. So if we go to the next slide, you can see uh, our vision is then to, um, to enable a prosperous society shaped by thriving businesses. So we, we really believe that by using our platform, you become more successful. And of course, successful companies support the society in whole. Next slide, we can see briefly how we are organized. We have six business units within Fort Knox, and we set up this structure last year to get closer to customers and uh, our stakeholders. And we, leave, we believe that this setup um, makes it easier for us to um, grow and to um, also to ad say, adapt if we would do any further uh, M&As or acquisitions. So we have to the left, uh, Pengar and Entrepreneuren, uh, business units working mainly with the product development. And to the right hand side, we have the, our sales teams working with direct customers and accounting firms. I will come to that a little bit later. And then we have something called marketplaces where we have our app store and Fatta, and then Firman or the firm in English, which I'm representing, which consists of all the supporting um, divisions, which are, for example, HR, communication, IT operations, infrastructure, workplace, legal and compliance, finance, and so on. Cool, that was in a brief um, uh, about Fort Knox. Let's jump into um, our offering. Can jump to the next slide too, Simon. Thank you. So I'm trying in this picture to illustrate a little bit how our offering works. So we, uh, we provide a full package to small and medium, uh, large uh, enterprises. And like a toolbox that makes them run and boom or blooming their businesses, basically. So we have our own native products that we're developing in-house, which we are maybe most famous for our automated um, bookkeeping or solutions around employees and so on, which I will touch on a little bit later. But we also have open APIs to our platform. So we invite and partner with a lot of different vendors to be able to cater for all, diff all different needs through the platform. So we have more than 400 uh, connections with other, other parties. And for that, we can then deliver bookkeeping, but you can also get payment solutions from our, our partners. So you can 
have we can build an industry specific uh, solutions which are tailored for an industry need which could be uh, let's say a carpenter or a farmer or a lawyer. So if you go to the next slide, you will see how we are tailoring from like the offering to our pricing strategy, where we are the 99 kroner a month company for a product uh, and for you for one user. And I think this is the real success of, of Fort Knox because the ERP system back in the days were not tailored for small and medium companies. So it was only for the large one. So the on-prem solution you could find back in the days were very complex or too complicated and expensive. Now we have something for only 99 kroner a month. You get an ERP system with a tailored for your needs. And then you can add on with products based on your needs. And you have transaction-based fees also connected to billing and payslips and invoices. Or we deliver packages with a discount or we deliver solutions, um, like I said before, based on industry needs. So going to the next slide, you can see it in a different visualized way, how we are delivering our offering. And it's extremely scalable because it doesn't cost us that much to add a user or a product. And a customer for us is, uh, is a company. And then you have users, on, uh, which could be an employee, a CFO or CEO. So that's how we scale the usage. And we believe that what we call solutions is something uh, that vertical within the offering is something we believe can grow um, a lot going ahead to, to catering it for different industry specific needs. Uh, great, let's jump to, uh, to the next slide then and talk a little bit about our customers. So first starting off with um, to look at how how do all the customers enter our platform? And we have main two distribution channels. So the one uh, to the left, that the direct customers come to our website. We have a direct relationship. Or we have all the accounting firms that we work with under, I mean, they use then Fort Knox as their backbone system. And every time they add a client or a new company, that of course becomes a, um, a customer on our platform too. So either you, I mean, the, the direct customer also often move between the sides due to that you sooner or later often need support from an accounting firm. Then you can actually be on both sides. And then you have uh, um, the companies under the accounting firms often start to do things themselves as invoicing, adding receipts and so on. And then they also use the platform themselves. Um, uh, at the same time as the accounting firm use the platform. So I think this has been the success uh, look, go, looking back is that we have been building strong relationships with accounting firms. Um, and looking on the next slide, you can see our market position connected to, to this. We have plus 20,000 accounting firms in Sweden. We have thousands of, of them using Fort Knox as their backbone. So we have the big five we have the 25 biggest accounting firms after the big five. So we are predominant within large and medium and potential to go within the small ones. But this win-win relationship where we provide um, um, products and, and a platform for them to be smarter and more efficient enables them to improve their business and relationships too, of course. So that through the accounting firms, we onboard a lot of customers, of course. The traditional corporation on our platform is typically five to nine employees. We see that we have big potential to grow both to larger enterprises and smaller. So for example, we just during this year re released something we call salary mini. So if you are self-employed, you can through a couple of single uh, click on your mobile, uh, pay out your salary. And we do everything in the background for you. And at the same time, if you look at the larger companies, we, um, yes, an example uh, for, of uh, maybe, of, I should say, of course, but Fort Knox is using um, uh, our own ERP system, of course, and we are pretty big compared to, to the average company we, you see here, here with a lot of certificates per month and a quite complex structure. So it works very well for even larger companies. Uh, Cool, let's move further. 
to look at some uh, numbers. So starting with um, uh, sales and uh, EBIT then, I think it's um, the, the figure tells, uh, says it says itself basically, but we have been very stable in terms of growth and EBIT growth during the last years. And this is back to 2017 quarter one with a roughly 50 million in, 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 in sales to last quarter, quarter three, there we reported nearly 250 with a solid profitability uh, over the years. And we actually reached uh, reached above 100 million in EBIT for the first time last quarter. And we have an average revenue per customer at 184. Cool, let's have a look at uh, the next slide. Uh, growth and margin is important uh, for us together internally because we measure it as a rule of 60. That's the Fort Knox rule. You often say that a company like Fort Knox measure themselves on rule of 40, but we always aim for rule of 60, which we've been very proud of been reaching for a, for a long period of time. And we continue to aim for that, of course. So last quarter was super strong with growth plus margin close to 80. Next slide, we can look at our uh, customer base. It's, it's similar to, uh, to the sales. We are growing steady with customers. We will uh, aim for 700,000 customers at 2025. So if you look at the next slide, you see some of our ambitions in brackets. We usually don't talk that much about future looking statements, but we have been mentioning during capital market days that we are aiming for 700,000 customers and an RPC of 300 uh, with you, higher usage uh, of our products and a different maybe mix also of, of our products. But since the business model is quite straightforward, you can do the math yourself if we would reach this. It's very ambitious, but we're also very confident in our uh, plans going ahead. Let's jump into the product areas. So. This is how we are structured within Fort Knox. We have nine product areas. These are our building blocks. And beneath, we have roughly plus 30 products, uh, the product teams that are working. And I will jump into the light green today. So let's jump into accounting because, I mean, accounting, of course, is the real game changer back in the days when it, it really took off, since this was the first time um, companies account, account firms and authorities could find a platform for to communicate and collaborate through in an efficient way. And this is still some of our um, strongest advantages, this product area with extremely high usage. And we believe, I mean, we are, or let's put it like this, we are investing a lot to always be forefront within this. And the end goal, the end state is, of course, to have a no touch fully no touch accounting product, meaning that everything would be automatically done. Reaching that, we will have bookkeeping in real time for real, so to say, which would give us tremendous advantages. We will be able to look to be relevant. I mean, what's in the book here and now, but also be able to predict much more in the future. One uh, piece of the puzzle that's been missing for many years is on the next slide that also I just want to, to share is that we released our new product suite uh, now during September. And it's basically everything that's happening um, after bookkeeping. And this has been very asked for all the accounting firms, when, when, will, <laughs> when will we have this product? So we um, did an M&A for, or, or we bought uh, a GOI, uh, a company in, in, in Stockholm that, build, that had built this module and product. So we integrated that to, um, to our platform and uh, is now rolling it out to accounting firms during uh, fall and will scale it to next year. So this is a very important piece of the puzzle to have a very strong offer within this area. And previously it was not possible to do it in the, in the cloud. It was, uh, it's a very complex processes usually done on on-prem on solutions. The next uh, product area I will touch is um, uh, billing, a very 
competitive and a competent uh, I mean, ecosystem of things you need when you sell services, goods or both. Or if you sell a lot of um, inventory or, or goods, you have a good inventory systems through, through this setup too. And here we are integrated with a lot of partners. I mean, for example, if you look at time a project, it's very different to report time if you're a lawyer or if you have a hairdresser or, or a carpenter. And here we need um, strong collaborations with, with other vendors, which we are integrating into our platform to deliver a much more than industry specific needs. We are sending roughly one invoice every, sec every other second, and we have more than 10% of the GDP in Sweden through our build building. So it's very used and uh, a well-functioning um, uh, product area. The next one is about people and uh, very smooth end-to-end -end experience for all involved parties. We have, of course, an employees, an employer, and a, a lot of different authorities. But this is mainly about then salary, payments, tax, pensions, time reporting, and more. We believe that we can reach 1 million payslips uh, within the coming years. And of course, you can imagine, I mean, the relationship we create with so many employees and the opportunities uh, that lies in that uh, going ahead. Next one is then uh, financing. Uh, where um, we basically offer, I mean, invoice service, where we help the customer to distribute the invoice, get paid, bookkeep automatically, and so forth. So we, this is an area we believe we can make a big difference for small and medium enterprises uh, with the size and, and knowledge we have on our platform to really give um, competitive uh, rain, uh, rates and support with, um, um, I mean, everything that is supporting your cash flow liquidity and we're working capital and so on. To the right, you see some of um, um, what we've been communicating before about products we believe in that we will develop. It's the, the buy now and pay later uh, or um, get paid instantly. So we believe we have a lot of um, good development in our uh, roadmaps connected to financing. And for a couple of weeks ago, we also did the, the merger with the Capsito, which is strengthening this area a lot. Uh, also the, from that uh, company delivering, e delivering even smaller real-time credit scoring, which will be uh, key uh, within this area going forward. Great. Let's jump in uh, to the m and uh, part. Just to, I mean, I want to touch on this due to that a part of our growth journey going ahead is that we will have our eyes open for companies that will complete us on our platform. So some of the target groups you can see to the left that we believe could be um, an option within the M&A area. But it's important that the product offer is, 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 is scalable on our customer base that we currently have, that we can extract clear synergies that the technology is not outdated or too unique, so it's it's doable to integrate it without too much costs. And I would say typically five to 200 million in, in, in sales, uh, what we look at, and that we see that we can set a plan within uh, two years to reach our rule of 60. So it's rather just to put the light on uh, that we will continue to have our, our our eyes open on this area, and we've been quite active during 2021. And then to finalize uh, these 20 minutes, a uh, little bit where I started, uh, Fort Knox is coming from, I mean, the, the burden of administration and removing that from, from, um, from businesses to give back time. We want in the future to take a a broader perspective of how we how we support companies to be successful. So we will continue to be best in class on our core products, but we will also then continue to deliver more insights and products closer to their core businesses to support companies to grow and prosper even more. And here we believe we can bring a, a big value. And from this, increase the customer intake, uh, increase the usage, and from that, increase the RPC per um, a customer and reach our um, targets for 2025.
that was uh, it for um, for 20 minutes. Thank you a lot for listening. Thank you so much, Johan. A great presentation indeed. Um, initially, I'd, I'd like to ask on, on one of the slides you showed earlier, we, where you showed a picture of your various customer acquisition, acquisition uh, channels. Could you talk a little bit about the pros and cons on, on when a customer comes from directly from the website versus when it comes through a, an accounting firm? I mean, the, that's a good question, Simon. I think pros and cons, there are always pros and cons. And I think if we go for the accounting firm, uh, it, can take, can, it can take some time before you actually understand you are on, on Fortnox, Fortnox platform. But on the other hand side, you have an accountant that can support you and guide you what you need. Um, so I would say that it's always two sides of the coin for every, every both ways into the platform. And on the other side, you have the opposite coming from a being direct customer. Then we, um, you don't have that uh, support from the accounting firm to, to guide you um, in the fastest way. Mm. And, and uh, thank you for, the, for that. Uh, in, in the first half of 2021, you've made some internal improvements. Could you talk a little bit about what does what that meant for your business, all these shifts uh, that you've seen uh, from, from platforms within the finance offering, etc. How, how well equipped are you for growth uh, in, as we are soon to enter 2022 here? I mean, we have done uh, some, uh, some uh, investments during the year. And one part is the finance platform that's been... Partly struggling uh, to be straightforward during, during fall, but we are now uh, moved all the customers to the uh, know the data and, and functionality to the new platform. So we believe that that will support the growth for next year. But we also done uh, some infrastructure investments, which lays, lies, within, lays within my area. For example, how we see on our core infrastructure IT and operations, which been very successful during, uh, we were more or less nearly done after summer. And that will help us uh, to scale efficient um, on on um, how uh, let, let's see how you um, scale efficient in terms not only efficient but also with high security. So we change the whole infrastructure how we uh, steer our we say data halla. I, I I'm struggling to find the word in English. Data center. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, and I, I know you have touched upon the subject recently, but it, but it's also a relevant question, I believe, given that you recently announced the acquisition of Capsido, uh, which I think sounds like a very interesting company. Could, could you talk us through the initial rationale be behind this acquisition? About Capsido is coming from, uh, uh, I mean, starting off from from the call it the, the frustration of uh, that small startups or small companies and medium companies couldn't get the same um, financing opportunities uh, as larger companies can. So we believe that that's a very good match with what we have on our platform since we are um, a company really directed towards small and medium companies. So we believe that we can create a, a synergy between the companies and the, and the technology and the customer base and be able to provide um, financing in a very um, competitive way. Mm. And in your 2025 targets that you've statuated for uh, in, in conjunction with the Capital Markets Day here in January, you, you, um, you have some forward-leaning targets. Would you say that there are any specific product areas that are particularly important for them to achieve it in order for you to reach these goals? Or is it more so that you need to achieve broad-based growth here? Um, we haven't communicated any specific rationale behind that. So I, I, I wouldn't say, I mean, we, we are aimed to grow on all the different products we have. Um, increase usage and, um, um, broadly, but of course, as we're investing in finance, it's a very important area for, for, for us uh, to contribute to the future growth. Mm. Thank you so much uh, for attending here, Johan. We, we will now end the session. So, so thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.